Hello everyone. Hi, this is Kay. So this video is recorded on the 19th of May 2023 and this is on uh, Friday. So happy Friday everyone. Uh, so it's been a while since I uh, did the live stream last time. I was actually on a trip, my holiday. I was taking holiday trip and I rode out of Dubai and uh, after, well actually during the trip, uh, I got the flu, unfortunately, and uh, I'm not fully recovered yet. I got the flu like a couple of days ago and came back to Dubai and still my condition is not perfect. And that's why today, instead of live stream, I decided to do a video and so that I can redo couple of times until I can say this smoothly until the end of today's video. Well actually this is my third take but hopefully this one uh, goes well it's okay because for the last two takes I was talking talking but I, I cough and I just finished it and did another one and I get the sneeze I get the yeah, cough also so I uh, you know, I redo. So this is my third time. So hopefully this one goes well. Uh, but how are you everyone? Good to see you. Um, so yeah, so today I was thinking what to talk about. And uh, actually, I also made a video for KTS Academy members today about the money management. So looks like today the markets are retracing since it's Friday and it looks like there's not much move in the markets uh, for the last one week. I think I will talk about the risk management in this public um, community also. So let me start the video now. Okay, so um, all right, um, before I move on, just one quick announcement is that uh, so here is my YouTube uh, web page and um, if you can come to community this is when I usually post something when I have some announcements so in this community here on my YouTube I posted uh, four days ago that I will be on a trip in holiday um, until 17th Wednesday and uh, yeah this post it was uh, 20 hours ago um, I said I'm back in Dubai but I got ill a couple of days ago and uh, my throat condition is not really bad so please give me a few days until I fully recover so every time I do some announcement I do it here in the community so if you don't see me for a couple of days or if you, um, you know, uh, want to check some news in my YouTube, then please click on the community. Then you can find out uh, something. You should be able to find out something whenever, let's say, when I upload the video and when I don't do live stream, sometimes I post here too. So please check community more often than before. Then you know what's happening with myself also. And I get so many comments about this uh, post. Thank you very much everyone to those who commented and take care and stay healthy and everything, get well. Thank you very much everyone for the comment. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm actually much better now. Uh, I was a high fever. When I got the flu, it was high fever and I wasn't able to speak because I got the, how do you say, like a, like a shiver, like a chill kind of uh, feeling. And also I, I had the dizzy headache and I got the throat throat. Uh, I'm taking the medicine now. So my uh, fever is all, uh, fever is gone now when I'm taking the medicine. But uh, as, as you may be able to tell, my throat condition, my throat condition is not really good yet. So uh, you may notice that my voice t 
tone is a bit low now. So, uh, yeah, and the markets were a bit retracing today. So, uh, I think this is perfect timing to talk about the risk management. So, uh, let me pull up my spreadsheet <clears throat> because this is something I wanted to share. So, this is a spreadsheet I actually use myself and also my, for my students. And in this spreadsheet, you see all these numbers on top, uh, profit loss and win, number of win, number of loss, break even, win rate, and drawdown, profit factor, average profit, average loss, and uh, our multiple and everything. But um, which number do you think is the most important? Please take a second and think about which number do you think is the most important? Do you think win rate is more important? Or do you think how much you make profit is more important? Or do you think profit factor is more important? Which one do you think more or the most important uh, when you think of the number in terms of your uh, trade performance? Please uh, think a little bit while I'm drinking uh, water. So just hold on. Okay, so yeah, I hope my throat um, will be okay until the end of this video. Yeah, actually this is still in the afternoon in Dubai time, but towards the end of the day, my throat condition becomes worse. And that's why I decided to take the video just right now. Yeah, because I have also been missing to do live and to communicate with everyone. So today, I really wanted to show up. But still, I think my condition is not really perfect to do live yet. Because when I'm live, I can't redo. So I thought it's better to do it in a video like this. But what do you think? So, okay, uh, I think you thought about, thought about uh, which number is the most important. And for me, the most important number is the profit factor, which is called PF. I usually call it PF, profit factor. And profit factor is simply uh, the ratio between the gross profit and gr the gross loss. So, uh, so profit factor means the um, uh, risks and the reward ratio in terms of money. And I aim for more than three in live trade, and that's what I usually do. <clears throat> so I don't really care about the win rate because the part of the reason is because I'm a swing trader, more for the day to swing trader, and I have um, very strict risk management. So because I have the strict risk management, and my losses are very small. Well, that means I put the stop loss, but usually before the price hit the stop loss, I exit my trade. Um, hold on, just hold on. Let me let me cough. Just hold on. Yeah, sorry. Okay, this is getting a bit difficult, but let me just go through. So yeah, I don't really care about the win rate, but because of my style. If you are the scalper, then win rate should be more important than the profit factor. Profit factor can be one, or could be less than one too, but as long as the win rate becomes 60% or 70%, then that should be fine. But uh, my strategy uh, offers 
PF to be greater. And as long as it get a read rate of 30 to 40 percent, then you should be fine with my strategy. And I found that that becomes that makes me easier on my training psychology because so that I don't focus too much on consecutive wins. So let's say I have 32.35. So this is around, let's say, 30% of win rate. So out of 10 trays, I'm only expecting 3 wins and 7 losses. But with my strategy, I win over time. And that makes me easier in terms of losses. So even if I have loss, let's say today I take one entry and I lost. Tomorrow I take another entry, I lost. The day after I take another entry and I lost. But my psycho psychology still, still stays healthy because I know it happens. Um, 7 out of 10 losses are acceptable for me. So that's how I designed my strategy. But I aim for the PF profit factor to be more than 3. So that's first thing that I think it's important to mention in terms of the uh, risk management. Because risk management is really closely connected to the psychology. I think these are like two wheels on the bicycle. So if you miss one of these, you won't be able to ride the profits in trace. So, and I don't really care how much I win. In this spreadsheet, I mention the deposit and profit loss imbalance, but I usually don't look at these numbers. I mention this because, just for the reference, and this is because this is a spreadsheet, the actual number in my account, and the numbers in here, the spreadsheets are different. So the purpose to create that I created this spreadsheet is to focus on the profit factor and win rate also. Make sure win rate is between 30 to 40 percent and PF to be above 3. And R multiple. R multiple is the risk and the reward ratio in terms of pips, in terms of uh, profit and uh, profit pips and losing pips. So the ratio is R multiple. So ideally, this uh, should be above a 3 in live trades. But more than R multiple, profit factor becomes more important because depends on um, how much uh, your stop loss, how much, how many pips you take to the stop loss, you change your lot size. So in that sense, the risk in the reward ratio in terms of pips is less important than the PF. But anyways, uh, and the second thing that's important is to visualize your progress, your overall uh, uh, trace performance. Uh, this is something I said also in today's uh, membership video also, but uh, if you focus on everyday trades, let's say today you lose, tomorrow you have break even loss, and the day after you have loss also. So out of four trades, you have one break even and four, uh, three losses. So when you have that experience in, in the live market, in the live time, then uh, you may get discouraged because um, you have been keep losing three days. You know, let's say when you backtest, three losses happens in a second, in a minute. So uh, you may not feel the losses. And also it's not your live account, it's not, not your real money. So you may not feel the sense of loss in the backtesting. But in the live market, when the market's moving every day, three days is a lot. It's uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a long hours. So um, 
within the three days, you take four trades and one break even and three losses. Uh, in terms of the number of losses and break evens, it's only three and one. But in terms of time psychology, you spend three days to take trades, but you're not winning trades in one single. You keep losing and losing and break even and loss. So that's painful in psychology. And that's also the reason why you want to journal your trades or at least look back your own trades. So for me also, I have break even and loss and loss only one win, but break even, loss, 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 loss. So I have lots of losses uh, between 20th January until 17th February. So this is almost one month. If you only look at this area, Oops, sorry, hold on. If you only look at um, this section, between 20th January to 17th February, literally this is about one month. So for the four one month, I only won one trade, but the rest were break even in the losses. So if I don't journal my trades, and if I don't have the mindset of small losses are okay, break even trades are okay, then I should be changing the strategy by now. Or I might get so discouraged that I don't want to take trades anymore. Maybe. My strategy may be wrong. I start to think about it. Maybe if I have break even and loss and loss and maybe break even loss around this area, I might be, you know, thinking some other strategies. Uh, but I don't because I know these are first of all the small losses so if you only look at the result column these are the losses but you have to also think about how much or how many percent you lost in your account and if the percentage of loss is small you need to think, think that it's okay to lose because losses are the part of the process to get more profits is i think more correct understanding in terms of the risk management in order for you to get returns from the market. So yeah, these are the losses, but if you look at this ratio, I had the losses of only 0 0.37%, 0 0.38%, 0.5 times 2, 0 0.1 times 2, 0 0.2 times 2 and so on. So actual drawdowns are very small and this is really really important. And this is how I also built my strategy. So um, again, don't lose big. Let's say if this loss was 5%, second loss was 2%, let's say, and then the third loss is 3%. And the last one is 1%. So you took four trades, but your drawdown becomes 11% uh, in total. You lost 11%, which is too big to recover. I think it's too big to recover the 11% of your drawdown. So. I will suggest you to uh, no, don't take trades, backtest, and you know study more about the risk management. But out of four trades, if your drawdowns are 0 0.3 times 2 and 0 0.5 times 2, which is only 1.6%, then this is really small. So that's totally fine. So this is my mindset in terms of the risk management. But when it comes to winning trades, I win big.
So in fact, after I keep losing these trades, the next wins were 76 pips and 61 pips. So eventually, if you look at the graph on your trace, traded performance, you should draw the end wave, bullish end wave, not the bearish end wave, the bullish end wave. And this is an ideal wave. So between January to March, end wave has stopped here. So you may think that I only made this much a profit. But the most important, the more important idea is that this end wave continues to the future. If you were able to draw end waves for the last three months, then most likely for the next six months, you will also draw continuously end wave like this. And as you so that means the more you take trades, the more you get returns. And not only that, if you don't withdraw the amount, you can compound your profits. So you can you can start from uh, ten thousand, let's say ten thousand USD. Then let's say your ten thousand is a start, but keep compounding, one year, two years. Then you can calculate how much you can grow your ten thousand in one year without withdrawing the amount, for example. So you can actually, if you draw, if you're able to draw N wave, then you can use the power of power of compound the profits until you have enough amount in your account uh, for you to finally be able to withdraw your money and support your family. And I think this is the safest way to grow your accounts. So I say never start big. Even 1000 is okay. Just start with 1000 USD and compound your profits. And also make sure that you draw end waves graph like this on your uh, spreadsheet or on your uh, trade performance. And to do that, to, to know whether you draw end wave or not, you don't have to use spreadsheet. You can actually uh, download the, uh, the, the trade graph, performance graph from MetaTrader. You can also uh, look at the same. But, uh, or you can simply, um, you know, just uh, count how much you make every time or how much you lose every time you make you take trades and uh, see if you can if you can see your graph in waves by yourself you can actually do that too it's not really difficult to do so uh, these are the most important things I think in terms of the risk management again in terms of numbers for me Profit factor is the most important because of my trading style as being a day to swing trader. And then also, I don't focus so much on the losses because I know these losses are kept small and the losses are part of the process to win bigger profits. And thirdly, make sure that you draw any, any wave on the graph so that this end wave continues and your account keeps growing up and up like this way. So never the graph should never look like this. This is gambling graph. Or this, let's say, this is um, your entry timing should be wrong or your analysis, first of all, should be wrong if you see reverse in the wave. Because if you see reverse in the wave, the more you take trades, the more you lose. And if you have gamble wave, that means it's gamble. When today you may win, but tomorrow you lose all the profit today and you even lose more than yesterday. But the day after you win and then the next day you lose again 
And th psychologically, this is really difficult to keep trading. So I think the best scenario, the best solution for everyone is to be able to draw end wave in the graph, especially if you want to trade in the long term for not only one year, but five years or 10 years or even longer, then you should aim for how to draw end waves, um, regardless of which strategy you use. I think if you aim for how to draw end waves in your profits, then you should be not only fine in terms of profits and losses, but also uh, you should be fine in terms of your trade psychology. So that's something I wanted to mention today. So thank you very much everyone for checking today's video again. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to do live uh, because I was in a holiday and also I was having flu for the last couple of days and still in a not perfect, con con perfect condition. But hopefully I will get better soon and uh, see you again soon. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy. Oh, stay healthy to me and stay healthy to everyone too. And uh, yeah, stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye from everyone. Matane, thank you very much.